Wow, this is so good. Oh my God. Mmm. Amazing. The dates and the sourness of the yogurt and the sweetness of the little drizzle of maple syrup and bananas in there. Oh my God. Incredible. Today I'm making a vegan baked oatmeal. This recipe is so wonderful for the fall and winter when it's cold out. A warm breakfast on a cold morning. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. You guys, it's totally different than a bowl of oatmeal, I promise you. And it's so easy because you get to make it up in a big pan and cut it in squares. And then you can have breakfast for yourself for a whole week or more. And if you're serving it up at Christmas time, you've got the whole family fed right there from one bowl. And this recipe is so versatile. Today I'm using whatever I had in my house, which was dates and walnuts and some frozen mangoes and cut up an apple. And I'm going to squeeze a little orange juice in there because I had some. But use what you have. If you have berries or frozen berries, use those. This recipe is totally versatile. I'm just going to show you the basics, but make it up on your own. So I'm using oats, but I ground about almost half of them. Not quite, maybe 60% whole and 40% ground. I just did that in my blender, so you didn't have to watch me do that. But now what I'm gonna use my blender for is I'm gonna put my soy milk in there. And I'm gonna add a couple bananas to that milk. Blend it on up. So it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. If you want it really smooth, fine. If you want it chunky, fine. And you know what? You don't even need to do this step. You can just chop them all up and throw it in. But I like to do this because it makes it a little sweeter without using the maple syrup in the recipe. Okay, for the other two bananas, I'm just gonna chop them in chunks. Okay, I've got my oven preheating at 375 degrees, and I'm going to just now add everything in there. So let's add our oats. You can see that some are ground up and some are whole. And now we're gonna add our bananas in there. There's a mango, apple, a lot of fruit, and dates. As I have them. I'm adding some walnuts. I like to just break them up a little if I can. Okay, now I'm going to do some cinnamon and cloves. Mostly it's cinnamon with about a quarter of a teaspoon of cloves, only because I love cloves and baking powder and chia seeds. So good for you, chia seeds. So now let's add our milk. And just mix that all around. And a little squeeze of orange juice. So all we do now is just pour this into our baking pan and in the oven it goes. Look at all that delicious, healthy fruit. You could put some beautiful berries on the top. You could spread this with shredded coconut, but I used all my fruit and put it on the inside. That's just fine with me. So I'm gonna put this in the oven, probably 375. It's gonna take about 45 minutes but I may need to cover it if it starts getting a little too brown. We'll see, I'll check it as it goes. It looks beautiful and I like that crust on the top. So if you like it with just a little less crust, then just cook it a little less. That was only about 40 minutes 
and I cooked it mostly at 400. I started at 375 and I decided to up it, but it looks fantastic. Let's give it a cut. Man, that smells so good. I smell the bananas and a little bit of the clove and cinnamon. That is delicious looking. Oh, man, I love these. This is the best breakfast ever. So normally I make half of this and I use my smaller pan, but this lasts so long in the fridge. It's great to make a lot. Okay, let's give it a taste. I love it with yogurt and some milk in the bottom and a drizzle of maple syrup. Oh my God, that is so good. That is amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. One of the reasons I like to grind my oats is because it makes part of the texture a little bit like a cake and then the chunky oats. It's really good. But if you don't want to do that, just add all the oats whole but it's really good. And adding that extra soy milk at the bottom and that yogurt, wow. Mmm. Amazing. Amazing, really. All I put in there was the bananas and I used four bananas for this whole thing. And I just added a little drizzle on the top. For the photo, you don't really need it, but I love maple syrup. I highly recommend the dates. Wow, they really, you can see the chunky dates in there. So good. I want some more yogurt. Mm. Wow. You guys, this is so good, really. And it's so easy because you just throw it all in a bowl and then put it in the oven and go do something and come back 40 minutes later and you got breakfast all week. Fantastic. And if you love this recipe, be sure to check out my banana pancakes. They're delicious and super easy also. Fantastic. Approved. All right, you guys, have a really Merry Christmas. Maybe you'll have this for breakfast. See you next year.